Hello, I'm Dr. Judith Wolfman, Medical Director of the Lynn Sage Breast Imaging Center. Today I'd like to address a couple of frequently asked questions with respect to imaging for the detection and diagnosis of breast cancer. Most women are well aware of mammography as the most common imaging um, technique for detecting cancer, whether it be screening or for diagnosis when a woman has a palpable abnormality. In addition, in the last 10 to 15 years, we have done more work with utilizing ultrasound and MRI. The benefit of both of these techniques is that they do not require radiation exposure. However, they each have their um, benefits as well as their false positives. Ultrasound is most frequently used as the first imaging modality for women younger than 35 for evaluating palpable breast masses. We also use it when an abnormality is seen on mammography for any woman at any age group. It can help us determine whether there is a cyst or a mass that needs further evaluation. Currently, there are ongoing studies evaluating ultrasound as a survey screening technique using specific dedicated um, ultrasound units. Breast MRI, unlike ultrasound, is a more of a functional study. It requires that a woman have an injection of gadolinium, which is a contrast agent, by Providing this injection, the contrast goes through the bloodstream to areas of increased blood flow, whether it be to a malignant tumor of the breast, or it may also go to benign tumors or areas of hormone stimulation. Currently, MRI is indicated for screening for women at increased risk for developing breast cancer with greater than a 20% lifetime risk. This generally are those women who have been tested for the BRCA mutation, um, where they may be positive or have a very strong family history of multiple first degree relatives, or they themselves have had previous radiation therapy. In addition, MRI is used for evaluating women with a newly diagnosed breast cancer so that we may determine the extent of the cancer, both in the affected breast and to exclude any additional cancers that might have be present in her opposite breast, but not seen on mammography or breast ultrasound. The greatest um, difficulty with MRI is that there are false positives and because of this, it is an exam that is not recommended for general screening for women of low or moderate risk for developing breast cancer. In addition to these two studies, types of exams, there is further work being done with nuclear medicine type imaging, such as molecular imaging of the breast, uh, breast specific gamma imaging and PET imaging. These requiring the injection of an isotope resulting in increased radiation exposure to the breast. Therefore, it is important that any woman who is being evaluated discuss this with her physician. And here at Northwestern, the breast imaging radiologists at the Lindsay Center are always available to provide further uh, direction.